you guys coming to court and you're like, know, already man top 10 best rated current 2019. It's technically like the opposite side of the, the coin. Top 10 worst rated current 2019. I tried down, yep. Do you want to think all bad ones? And what's this time, sorry? Before this, what's this? Like, just all the mentions. And now we got Return of Wolverine. What the hell was this time, you see? This man, even point, like, oh my god, this is bad. I'm mean, Jesus Christ, this is awful. This time, you see, it was like a waste of time. And what means I was going to like? Not even said, you see. It was all pointed at him, and it never mattered. It was just a worse, it was just a point at the uh, story that felt unnecessary. I mean, the only way you fall back than the story. Which one was just awful. So avoid that one. Next. Next, year the villain. You the Brain might be it's an awful event that I makes mean, it's so boring. Nothing's happening. I mean, this whole year has just been a waste of time. It's been a stupid, awful, awful story that makes no sense. Like, the only thing that matters is Brain or Justice League, and that's it. All the other Year one shots, all pointless. Avoid Year the Brain, but then you can't avoid Year the you Year the it part of the publishing line, but it's just bad. It's awful. Just, just wait until the end of the next year in 2020. Which I'm hoping God ends because I can't tell you it's just bad. Nice. My final seven minutes is Rose Lemon and Good Lucker. Okay, here's me a minute. I wrote, I wrote Rose Lemon. She's the one very careful, but she's selling her drama scene because she's right. And she's the mother of, 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 the, um, of her son and the husband of Superman. But this series has just been so kind of boring. Nothing's happening. This series has just been so kind of boring. It's been dragged to a deadlock. To the point I don't give it anymore. I'm just going to ban ship. I'm sure to see that he gets better. Brown is gonna have 2020. It probably Ben is nonsense. So yeah, Ben will get to him at the end of my top 10. Because I have a lot better on that twist. Yeah. There you go. And then, but don't worry, this is all I'm in 2018. So let's get the party start, shall we? So, enjoy the show. See ya. Oh, I know. My number 10 top 10 was coming 2019. It's a very over event. I call it a bullshit. This book sucked. I'm dear, God, this book was bad. I mean, holy shit, this story was always. What point is that event? This event was pointless. Nothing happened. I mean, dear, God, we had all these detectives in my event. I figured who the vibe is. And by the end of it, it doesn't matter because the vibe just revealed itself to be this new kid named Mark Shaw. Who? Who's Mark Shaw? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what, who this guy is. Play my Manhunter. He's a Manhunter. I don't. What? What? I don't get and by the end of it didn't matter because he's gonna be an action comics. What? You wasted an entire event in my mind to wait at an object of a good mission story and saying you're gonna say you give it this crap? What do I end this garbage? What the point of this garbage? Fuck! But Bennett, you might be at we at the low low right of the way. This book was awful. And the the argument would find all the 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 good thing that came out of this awful event. But that's saying much. Good always did not make a good story. This story was garbage. Boring. Nothing happened. Nothing mattered. It was an awful, awful event that made no sense. After the event, fuck the event, and let's just move on alive with this play to get this guy to not come back. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I forgot. He did a sequel comic. Fuck. Like, why? <laughs> I don't want, I don't want more, more vibing. He's boring. I want him to go away. But he's not going to go away. He's still going to come back for the rest of our lives. God damn it! <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, like I said, this event was garbage. All, all these sisters do nothing. It's an awful event, and it's just garbage. A boys event, just skip it. There you go. That's my number 10. Time by number 9. Number 9. Oh god, it's gonna be painful. See ya. My number 9 top 10 was coming 2019. It teams out by Adam Grass, both throttle. Okay, what else can I say about this book? This book I think could be a train. I mean, dear God, because, because when I'm glad to go over this book, I knew something was wrong. Because the main thing was he changed the team on it and he messed everything up. What took them went into a sucker with that kill again and burned burn into a gulag? What? That's not Damon Wayne. That's not the guy I knew from Super Sun. What the hell do I'm glad this book is gone. Oh, to make it worse? Oh, you're gonna be out with Jet. A Jet might be nothing interesting. Rhino just been so kind of boring until he's gonna need a traitor, which, oh, that's a shock. Not really, it hasn't got kind of predictable. And, okay, Crush, I like him because he might be a good guy, like Crush. But other than that, this guy has an industry, they're all boring. But this book has been going nowhere, they've been trying to put that in the anymore. And by the way, the main time we had the other, who's the other? We don't know until we had to find a way to it, um, an old bear called, um, uh, The Heretic. 
Who? Oh yeah, I heard he died from, um, Batman Club, he, he got headshot, I mean, he's alive again. How do I, I don't know, I dropped out to that long time ago, I mean, I, I dropped out, this book is even bad. I mean, dear God, this story just been dragging, but I don't give it anymore, like, at this point, I want someone else to take over the team and make, make a, new, a good team that book again, because this book has been so kind of boring, nothing happening, to where I don't give it anymore. I want this book to, to get a reboot, a reset, on it, because this book has been bad ever since I got to go over it. Thank God someone had to take over the team, but funny, I can't take anymore. This book is stupid, go ahead, wait the time, and just don't wait, just skip it. I hate saying it, I'm a huge Teen Titans fan, but man, I'm going to get a lot more damage to this book, to the team, in my opinion, ever since it got on. I hate saying it, I mean, I know you got it, it's a good one, but I don't think he cares, Teen Titans. They don't need nothing, they want to shoot their squad. At the moment, they didn't need to shoot their squad, but, except for the Teen Titans. You took this great character anyway, and you were grunting to back, back to the, the 2.1.0 stats. Thank you, I'm glad. Thank you a lot. Ugh. Damn. What are you going to say about this book? It's not great. Just skip it. And, um, that's my number nine. Time my number eight. My number eight. Oh, God. It's going to be even more painful. and more screaming. So, enjoy yourself. See ya. My number eight top ten was Con 2019. It's really super by Brian Will Bennett. Yes, all of it. Why? Because it's fucking stupid, fucking bullshit. Dear God, this book is garbage. What the hell was this crap? I mean, dear God, like, like this story is awful. I mean, holy shit. I never read this much bad, better dialogue in my time. I mean, this book dialogue is awful. The story makes no sense. The story might be just been dragging. It's been two issues and nothing happened. What the point? Wasn't born? Point man, she did a huge together in the goal with it's been garbage. I hate Odin Born. She used it. Why John John go to his future? Because he was inviting him, that's why. <laughs> but what? And to make it even worse, Ben is a much of a kid, John says when he took the ten year kid, she ain't enough for this crap. Why? This is stupid. <sighs> I hate this book so much. Oh by the by the any issue too, which is the way you're doing it, we just Okay, that's the one part that I need to this book with some clue. We just need to find the reason to build. So, hooray. I say hi, but I'm not because Ben has destroyed everything with Superman, and this is the final call for me. This book, it's just been it's stupid and dumb, it never makes sense. Oh, by the way, we're the point now, and we ain't, we ain't, we ain't on for the reason to build. When did that happen? I don't know, I don't care, but guys don't give a damn. But this book has been so good and boring. No, I know what to is in, but this book is my point. Oh, by the way, do you see the Millennium stuff? That also counts, because that, that, that book will also put in the uh, cash grab. Like, Millennium might be just a waste of time, it's just stupid. But for the Millennium 4, can't no one get the damn app. Okay. Translation? No one gets the Millennium 4, it was garbage. I wanted to go away. Like, come on, this book is garbage. Like, Betty, what have you done? What are you doing with my, my, my favorite character, John Sands, where he ate him for this crap? Like, fuck this book. <laughs> No, I don't want to choose it in, in what probably wouldn't. Yeah, well, why do I want to talk to him with it? Shouldn't it not be on talking with it because the two issues in? It would not be on talking with it, but funny, this book has just been so bad that I need to talk about it. I need to get it out of my system. So, if this book, I just want this book to die, just go away, and just hope and pray that. Guys, someone has to fix John, give me back my 10 year old, John McTenny, stupid it back, a lot of chicken. Yeah, I ain't just gonna happen. It's a bad reason to DC. We ain't asking him, guys. But anyway, it's back on track. Point is, I need this book on me. It's been a complete missed opportunity and it's a complete waste of time. And I hate to say it because I'm used to I'm used to I'm saying super fan. That is done with that's been done the weekend and my big kid John. I'm just done. I'm finished. I'm only here for one more issue, but issue, and that's it. If the issue does go to hell, then I'm gonna uh, ban ship. But we're gonna wait see happens. Anywho, I tell you, I think it's really, I don't know. That's my number eight. Time to find number seven. Number seven, oh god, it's gonna be painful. So, enjoy the show. See ya. Oh, I know. My number seven top ten was Con 2019 is Tom King Batman. Specific issue 50 all the way up to the end of issue 85. Why? The guy in the Tom King Batman has been very, very bad. I mean, holy shit, this book has been garbage. I mean, Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened Batman? What a deal. We don't know. How you get the timeline? Because Red Flash took him. Um, what? That never happened in the button. And the button, I remember, 
considering I'm an adult, um, he sacrificed like the Grand Dark Man. That's where that story on ended. But no, he apparently came back in issue 50 and then he sounded in this, this universe. What? That didn't make any sense. And then apparently he was the Prime Master the entire time. He controlled Bane. He did the control Bane, say your Bane stuff. It was all him. He was the mastermind. What? Okay. Even even if I can buy Tonkin, um, Fight from Batman, you know, to do all this stuff, there's no way in hell you, you can actually do all this crap without some resources and without an, an army. Which, apparently, he did have me talk to Bane at the time, and he told Bane that he needed to break the bat. Why would Fight from Batman do any of this stuff for Bane? That doesn't make any sense. That's stupid. And, and by the way, like, when you're in issue 85, it basically ends with. Fight for Batman not going all, all the asylum now his, his back is crushed by Bane. What? Wait, when did that happen? Yeah, what, who cares? But call me the bitch and it still doesn't matter. And by the way, Catwoman and Batman get married, I'm happy with that, so whatever. But what 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 didn't matter? This book in my opinion just been garbage ever since issue 50, ever since the wedding happened, and this book having a downward spiral. And I hate to say that because we first started doing good. But after the wedding, it went to shit real fast. Like, just fucking garbage after this book. Like, ugh. Like, this is my only wood book I read this year. Besides, not about the camera this year, but God, Tongue and Batman, and that's really garbage. Thank God it's over, and we don't have to do Tongue and Batman ever, ever, ever again. Oh, wait, because you're the Batman's a Calvin series. Shit. Well, whatever, who cares, anyway? It's, it's over, I mean, we don't have to do it crap anymore with the main Batman book. But then an Alfred's now dead, so we're, we're gonna have to wait to see what that turns out, which... Uh, like, it's gonna take a half hour, we a miracle worker to, to fix all the mistakes that Tongue and Batman, the Tongue and the Batman. And believe me, we're not done with Tongue King, where he's gonna be at the next one on the list, but, well, there's another book you go out to this year that's gonna be on my list, but you get my point. Point is, Tongue and Batman is a complete waste of time and a we are downward spiral to the point I'm just, I'm glad that I'm going to be done and we don't do this crap ever, ever, ever again. What's that? Move off on this crap and just hopefully the bad and plan for the worst and play the job for the future and what's it, what's the average? Anyway, um, anyway, um, what did it say? It's just an awful series and then guys over. Anyway, um, that's my number seven. Time to find number six. And my number six. Oh, it's gonna be acting more painful, and it's acting for, for a writer who used to be good, but now I've just been down there for years. But the main writer, or you find out, Adam. So, Jesus. My name is Six Top 10 was coming 2019, it's Dark Knight Return to Goring Child. The secret of the Dark Knight Master Race. What did I say about this book? This book made no sense. I mean, oh my god, this is bad. I mean, Holy shit, I read by Frank Miller, but this book made no sense whatsoever. How did Joker even arrive? We don't know. We got Dark Side, which didn't make any sense. Like, what? And now Carrie Carrie is now Bat ba ba Girl. Well, technically she's now Bat Girl because of Donald Trump. What? And this book is really a sequel to Donald Master Ace? What? This book didn't feel like a sequel, it feels like more aggressive. And apparently this book also put a Dark Side in it. Why? Because, uh, reason? We don't know to tell you the truth. Family doesn't matter, I mean, we fucking made no sense. Apparently, my boy, John Mason, the two boy, is now at the center of Superman 1 1, which we know than the Dark Knight Master Race. And now, I mean, he's more powerful than even his own father. What? When the hell did that happen? When the hell did my, did my boy, I think he's he been destroyed Dark Side with that much power. And now he's a god, and now he's a chill reality? Huh? That didn't make any sense. But like, what? What the hell am I reading? But like, God, this book, my nose, this book, my nose, what the fuck? Oh my God, this book, my nose, garbage. I mean, holy shit. I read bad fucking, this book is just stupid. It just didn't make sense. Also, Ben, there's no political algorithm with Trump on that nonsense, but I don't really care about that. Like, look, I get Frank Miller is political guy. I get it. I believe me, I understand part of it, but I might be all these days, but. Yeah, this book doesn't feel like more part. This book doesn't feel like more nonsense. So this book here, it's nonsense. It makes no sense. It's stupid. And by the way, when the book ends, it ends weird. It doesn't add up. It makes no dark and moral now because we. I. What? What a point of this sequel? This sequel felt great. This book is sequel of the Dark Matter 8. It felt like an 
I did an unnecessary one shot that found anything pointless. Wait, this book was just a useless task grab just to get into the Dirty Returns. And I keep saying it over and over to the day I die. Dirty Returns are not getting any more sequels. It's just any with Dirty Returns, it's just any with that book, and that's it. That's the, that's the only one, your one shot, that's the only one story. No sequels, nothing. It's really bad Dirty Returns. We don't need any more sequels. Stop it, DC. Stop making any more sequels. But you know what? It doesn't matter anyway, because it's, 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 just, it's just a one shot, it's just an Elfworld story. But it just doesn't matter. For, for better or for worse, what this play out to the end of Dirty Returns, and you maybe don't want to come back to you ever again. I'm just burned out. I'm done. And the way that my boy John looks at it in this book, he looks weird. He looks like a little shy, but I get that the point. Point as it is, sorry, but what? What the hell am I reading? This makes no sense. Why am I reading this crap? I, what? But this is just more insanity and more stupidity. And all the time, I, I should not be fine Frank Miller because Frank Miller I just lost well, his mind at this point, so it just doesn't matter. Ugh. Like, thank God it's over and we don't have to do any more Dying Return sequels. At least I hope we don't do any more Dying Return sequels, but no one DC, they're gonna do another Dying Return sequel because they, won't, they, they just won't. Won't let Frank Miller go or let him out of his right way in that indie book. Frank Mill, just retire. You're done. Just retire and move on. Move on. You're not like any more Dunk and Tennessee goals. But for bad, for worse, everything is just a one shot. So, what did I say? It's just a stupid story and it's over. Anywho, I tell I think the Argonne really is pretty interesting. The Argonne kind of pretty. Kind of. It's ugly, but we, we did it more better than Frank Miller's artwork. But, it doesn't matter really. Anywho, watch out, right, that's probably only number. That's my number six. Time right number five. I know five, oh boy, it's gonna be controversial, but I know some people like this book, but, yeah, I'm not a fan of this book at all, and this book would just broke me. I'm mean, gonna tell you, you'll, you'll find out, ain't it? So, enjoy it. See ya. Oh, I know. My number five top ten was coming 2019. A young judge by Brian Michael Bendis. Okay, here's the thing. I know what people say. But damn it, the internet did it a good series. I thought people love Young Judge by Michael Bendis. Don't people like the series? <sighs> yes, I know some people like the series. Uh, in fact, I'm glad some people like the series. But for me personally, after 12 issues, I am done with this book. This book has been dragging ever since issue one because issue one started with the bang, and I mean, it was pretty cool with, with all the. Remember Young Judge coming back and figure it's seven new guys and Teen Rant and then Jenny Hack, which I didn't get the Teen Rant. Teen Rant is so kind of boring. And Jenny Hacks, she's an Indian character, but she's ready to join the Hacks. And I'd rather really join Hacks than, than his great, 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 great granddaughter. Like, I don't care about her. She's boring. I care about the main core team Cassie, Tim, Connor, and Impulse. Those are the kids I care about the most. I don't care about the new character. I want them to go away. But, the minute we get to Gem World, that's where it all went to shit. Because Gem World, I'm so goddamn boring. And look, I get it. Then with the Pokemon on Prince Amethyst. Fine! I'm all for it. But Prince Amethyst, she's not interesting in my opinion. She's just boring. Okay, that's not true. She's an interesting character in her own right, but only in her own series. Not in other people's books. In other people's books, she's really not that interesting. In, other, in her own series, she's great. But, but... I feel like we're gonna jump on me when we do time and we don't say it, we just like throw a point and point throw and it goes nowhere. Oh, by the way, you all want Connor Cannon about, about like, his son, about like, his family? Spoiler, that's how he is banging at all. In fact, he got tra trapped in Gem World because he messed up with the Star Labs and Star Labs with evil. Because we, I don't know, I, I just don't get it. And then we got the whole multiverse stuff with the crime syndicate. Well, not the crime syndicate, the crime syndicate is dead apparently in this book. Even the Ben Superman have alive and Ben Superman dead. That didn't make any sense! Continuity doesn't make any sense to DJ and I, and this book proved my point that Ben had no idea what he was doing with Continuity. Continuity is a joke right now. DC is not even funny. Like, oh, this book is so frustrating. Oh, th the thing that pissed me off even more, and that made me even more frustrating, was the name of the Drake. What? Why change the name of Drake? That makes no sense. What? Why not you have him keep with Robin? Robin makes more sense. Drake? That is an awful name in my opinion, but that makes no sense. That, that really is his last name. You took his last name and turned the love into Drake. Why? Wait, what? Ah, it's, it's so frustrating, it's so stupid. It just doesn't make any sense. God, this book is stupid. Oh, by the way, Naomi shows up. Why? I don't know, I don't care, but I'll give, give it a damn about Naomi. Okay, that's not true. 
her own series might be as good, but in your judgment, she did stupid and poor. Like, she's a, a poor character that doesn't need to exist at the end of other books. She just did her own book. Stop writing characters that didn't actually do other people's books. Just let that character stay in one series and not add another series. Stop these bandits. Oh, it's so stupid. And by, by, by the end of the series, Motivator Journey it doesn't matter because once they get caught in a trap in another world, and now they have to fight Khan again. So you wasted 13 years, you know, at the appointment by Scavenger Hunt to save Connor, and now you can try another world? What if I do end the world? You instead of doing any more murderous crap! Stop! My dog, this book is so stupid! Ugh. Yeah, yeah, this is the final straw for me. This book broke me, and this book might be so stupid, so repetitive, so boring, that I isn't telling my son anymore! Screw this book! I just want this book, I hate saying that, I mean, I'm, huge, I'm a huge Young Justice fan. But this book might be the final straw for me. This book is garbage and a complete waste out of the Team Young Justice. Which is sad, because I look like Jim, but, you know, Ben has like wasted this team, in my opinion, and just wasted them. Which is a damn shame, because I love these characters. But, dear God, Ben just broke me. Also, also before I can tell, Ben Connor, the reason why Connor had not in New Fitzgerald, because New Fitzgerald Connor has gone, and this is pretty much Connor can't. Even though that doesn't make a sense against Superman Reborn, he would erase from existence. So how is he back now? And no one remembers it, and Tim remembers it, and, oh wait. I forgot, T Tim remembers Connor, because of Tanner, not because of Wild West. Wait, that was the reason they were thinking the Wild West that people had to get the memories back. Why the hell bring the Wild West to, to, to talk to Impulse? Or, or talk to Dr. Tim? Why can we get Wild West to talk to Tim during the first place and stare at the uh, uh, Zatanna? Oh, whatever, who cares? I mean, it doesn't matter. What the book doesn't matter? This book has a complete failure, a complete disappointment, and one of my words kind of this year. That is sad. Why don't we just have family? It's funny, this book is just. It just broke me. Huh, what a damn shame how he's been killed. My god, Penny no idea what they're doing. I don't know, I don't know, it shouldn't be a supply game or at this point, but. Anyway, he's back on track. Point is, people like this book, cool, more power to them, but me personally, I'm burned out, I'm done, I'm finished, I'm finished, I'm just gonna draw it into it until I get better. I know you're gonna cause it with act is acting comments, but I don't care. I'm just gonna hope for the better plan of the world to see what happens. But for me, I'm done, I'm finished. Anyway, what I tell her? It's very, right, very right That's my number five. Time for my number four. My number four, oh, it's not gonna be supplied to anyone. Anyway, why don't you Well, you'll find out. See ya. Oh, I am. My number four top ten was called in 2019 is 8 of X-Men. Why well, call it 8 of bullshit? This event sucked. I mean, what the hell went the part of this event? This event was good. Oh my god. I didn't let an event this bad since, well, since the event of Iron Man. Okay, the event of Iron Man awful. This is 10 worse. This event was pointless. What a way I'm leaving great play. What was play to begin with? We don't know. What are you playing to alter reality? We don't know. Why do, why are we having all these kids? I can't we are now with this book was pointless! This event was god Oh my I never read this event so bad X-Men since all uh, about the Adam crap. But this made about the Adam actually worth reading, but this book was garbage! This book made no sense, it was an awful cash grab, it was a stupid event that made no sense whatsoever. The main character that they got the idiots, the whole um story with Nathan Gray is stupid, and the way the book ends just made no sense. What the point of any of this crap? What the point of any of this crap? What the point of any of this crap? What the point of any of this garbage? The taking out the field? Okay, why? Reason, we don't, like, what? This is a cash grab by Marvel, pen and simple. Like, this book was a great waste of time, and as an X-Men fan, this book was garbage. Thank God, Hit Man and my man took over the X-Men after this garbage, and they got rid of the any of this crap. Because no one gave it in uh, name and grade. No one gave it in name and grade. No one gave it in an event. And I'll bring them. This is one of the worst events I've ever liked. This event sucked. Fuck this event. Empty these stories. Empty these all the times. And screw this empty, uh, stupid epic event. Thank God this event ended in my brain. We don't need to do any more name and grade crap. Ever again. Screw this book. Now, I didn't part of the game on this chain wreck. Not really. No, they're not good for the game of X-Men because none of the books matter. In fact, none of the story matter because Hickman erased all of their resistance. And I am all for that because this book is garbage and I found X-Men this book is stupid. 
Screw the book, screw the man, and what's it with him and die and never talk about it ever again. Screw the man. Alright, I'm gonna tell you this way. Oh, yeah. That's my number four. Time by number three. My number three. <sighs> You're not gonna be surprised by this one. Anyway, dumb. So, enjoy the show. See ya. Oh, no. My number three top ten was called 2019. It's actually called by Brian O. Bendis. Yes. All of it. Why? Because this book is good. Holy shit, this book is so good and boring. I mean, dear God, this book is bad. I mean, holy shit. The only video Mafia stuff, I know, reviving stuff, has been boring. Nothing happened in the entire series. This series has been dragging every single better guy in this book. This book has no action. It's been boring, boring dollars. This book that goes nowhere. That's what this book is. Point filler. The comic. Like, holy shit. I haven't read a book this boring ever since, well, I've seen actually there's too much stuff going on right now. That book's been garbage. This book is not worse. We've been for one back fourteen in issue issue I think in the scene. It's never happening. This book has been so gone and boring. Nothing's happened to the Marvel yet. Oh look, crowds have been gone and boring. In fact, this book has been dragging everything back on, but it it book has been pointless. What the point of the entire series if you have no no action it's called action comic, not boring comics. And all vibe and stuff, it's been pointless! This book, in my opinion, is one of the worst comics I read after this year. Not yet to bang Superman stuff. Oh, wait. We're going to bang Superman later. I am more sad to about that train acting of a story. <laughs> because that book is actually ten times worse. This book is just point and a boy. And all my John Mayer Jr. is just awful. Holy shit, the art is bad. I mean, dear God. I read John Mayer Jr. article, but this book is even worse. And all the video my video of stuff, what's the point of that? That's pointless. Why are we having to read do it with what I mean? Fight each other. That makes no sense. This is stupid. Like, this is one of the worst books I've ever read in my life next to Ben and Superman. And this book, I know it's probably Ben and Superman, but it's just awful. No one's happening. It's just point and fair and it's boring. Like, holy shit, this book's bad. Oh, I'm gonna tell about. Oh, by the way, you probably want to have a lot of the crowd. She's pointless. She's done nothing in the entire series. It's annoying figuring out that Rob isn't good. But I don't care what Rob isn't good. She's boring. I want to go away. But the entire series has been boring, in my opinion. It's just been dragging, but I don't give it anymore. I want this book to really have some progression. Give me some, Benny, but this book gives me nothing. All the name is going to one issue, and I don't care. So, whatever. Oh, this book is coming. Screw this book. Um, I'll tell you. It's not, it's never happened in next year 2020. I'm gonna drop this book, but for me, I just can't do it anymore. This book is a waste of time. Nobody's having The video market has been pointless. The whole revival has been pointless. This book has been garbage. Screw this book. And I want this book to die. And it's, oh, wait, wait, I'm gonna take over action comics. Right am I, like, Tom King Batman. This book actually is awful and just a stupid, point filler book that goes nowhere. Screw this book, and I'm just gonna wait until I see this whole thing just ends. Oh, good, wait, see, I'm yeah, anyway, watch out, it's Chinese. Things by the way. Oh, wait, um. Go back to Action Comics. Uh, what, what was the number two? Oh, wait, um. That's my number three, tell me number two. And yeah, nobody should be fun. I mean, so enjoy so. See ya. Oh, wait, um. My number two top ten was Con 2019. It's Superman by Bonnie Rob Bennett. Yes. All of it. Why? But this book is garbage. Holy shit, this book is awful. I mean, dear God. Brennan has destroyed everything I've ever seen man. He destroyed his superman family. I'm not my biggest job. I'm going to see because bullshit. He got with John Brennan. We see what he did. Not a bad idea. He pretty much destroyed his family by spreading girls and crying with BS readings. Like, he did all those. Those are the important. This book is garbage. Holy shit, this book is awful. Fuck this book! This book is going to destroy everything I ever loved Superman. He destroyed Superman family. He destroyed Betty, like, on Candle, which is a bad idea. He Betty made the whole job plot on point red. Like, this book has been garbage. He ruined Mr. Odd stuff on it by pointing back in the t main time. I didn't know that that didn't make any sense. Because it got to be for him at the time. And that, not because of him, him, him. That didn't make any sense. This book has destroyed everything I ever loved Superman family. And Betty has destroyed everything. Fuck! He destroyed every other love. He ate a monster character. He ruined the cemetery. Theory. He revealed the cemetery, which is not a bad idea. He destroyed everything. Fuck this book. After the destroy, and I've been used to it. It's been garbage. This book, I'm the following straw draw from me, Ben. And Ben destroyed everything I ever loved, and I can't take it anymore. Like, ugh. Like, what the fuck, Ben? Why did you destroy everything I ever loved? You destroyed Tomasi's work. You made that general work, and you made everything pointless. That's a lot. Like. 
fuck! Like, pain for I don't know Superman might be, and, and, and you just keep waiting from the day I die. In fact, I can't think anymore. What am I in the circle? We don't know. What are the part of our secret? We don't know. What am I in the giant bird in the crap and put on Earth through the crime scene again and torture? We don't know. What am I in this crap? We don't know. This book might be so every hour of life, but I can't do anymore. Fuck this book. I've been this human and fucking this book has destroyed everything I can anymore. I want to pay it off to men. He is very annoyed, so Superman can't do my game, can't do my game, can't do my game, can't do my game, crap, and this book, and I have to find him, and stop, find him, and calm me. And, I think I have Daniel Beal, I'll give a damn about that, so I'm done with Ben and Superman. F this soon, and I want Ben off of Superman. He is with everything, screw this book. Ugh. Now, I didn't part the camera, it's in wreck. I'll give the autograph, you know, the good thing that came out, so it's always pretty, but not saying much. Because all we did, then mad at the story again, and Frank Rose was all with pointless. Rose was all with villain that didn't even exist. He's just stupid. Nothing mad about Ben, ben and Rose destroying everything, but I can't do it anymore. Screw this book, I want my Superman, my, 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 my 10 year old drama is in a way. Not that this is garbage. But I know that's not gonna happen because God, God forbid we can't have any good story down. We have a bad story down in the business. We, 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 Ben is a good writer, but now everything I tell him is in the shit. Ugh. Like, I can fuck this book. <sighs> nah, you're probably winning though. Why, 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 if I hit the button, why is this my number one? Oh, wait, look at the number one. Number one, actually, even though this book pissed me out anymore, something that pissed me out this year that came out at the, in, in, in the end, and, it, and this book might be with, with this guy number one, but, oh boy, you're gonna see what number one is, and oh god, it's gonna be a trooper. Oh, like, but point. This book's garbage, screw this book, and I'm gonna put it off a Superman. But that's not gonna happen. Fun said I wasn't gonna see him, there we go. That's my number two. Timeline number one, my number one. Oh, oh good, you're gonna, you're gonna have to figure out what it is. And I want to say, if I was sitting here, I don't know why, Wes. You'll find out, and so enjoy the show. See ya. Hey, Superman, you're gonna be a my number one top 10 was Comic 2019, you know, please? Hell in Christ by Tom K. and Cray Man. Well, I call Hell in Christ is garbage! This book sucks! Holy shit, this event was good! What the fuck was the point of this event? I get the message one. The message to do it with PTSD. Fine! I'm all for that. But you didn't have to. to damn it. Why would he make a killer? What the fuck was the point of that? Like, why make one with a killer? Why? Like, ah! This book right here, and would everyone write it? It killed me right away, who not the my friend's speech of a bullshit. It killed me. Also, no, we got crap. It killed me, I killed me, we got garbage. Wait, this book was garbage! This book destroyed every area of the leader. It killed, it destroyed Wild West. It made Wild go to jail with a bullshit. It put Boots to go hard, Queen had criminal over some, well, hard criminal over the criminal over the world, so it's not point right now, but Boots to gold? Really? I got BS in that, I have no sense. And the dumb mystery was pointless. Because nothing mad anyway, this entire man was garbage! This man was all, all made that destroyed Wally West, my favorite speech there, but crap! Like, why? Why kill the Wally West? Why make him get murderer? Like, that, that, that doesn't make sense! Why did Wally West do it the beacon of hope for Rebirth? That would do a different Rebirth! But then the minute I've done we have to eat position, then you have to take a fucking money up! This book, I mean, would only have to my favorite speech there, it wouldn't be the Wally West carry, it killed our Wally West for both the Rebirth have a shock value! The one good thing came out of the with the art. The art of Kramer is good. Kramer and art is the one in the kids' book alive. But everything else, this book was garbage. The mission made no sense. The story made no sense. The character uh, are actually idiots. No one makes the entire event. This event was the only made that the kill off of the art of the for bullshit and ruined why with my flash because then you heard why West. Which again proved my brain. Remember that Dan you don't know what the fuck he's doing! And Tom King, look, I've been talking, I think Tom King's a good writer, but I think Tom King got screwed over in this entire story, and this is not the real plan. I wish when the real plan was not to do a murder mystery. No! The real plan is to do it with more psychological, more PTSD stuff. With I mean all for that. But not the kill of other killers for, for bullshit! Like, ah! Oh! I I I only did a discussion here with Christ early on my, my uh, video on my uh, channel, so I'm not gonna do another way I heard of Christ. But I said this book I destroyed everything I want my flash and I now I can take damage control to put all the flash forward stuff. But even flash forward are all flash to it, but that series you're talking to undo here in the crisis, but in order to do that you need all the same family. But before I can have a series that's not gonna happen, I'm getting off track.
My point is, this book of mine ruined any of my flat, it ruined me a lot of children, and it made no sense. Who would have created one of the worst events I ever read all year, one of the worst DC books I read all year, and one of the comments I read all year, period! This book is worse than Bendis and Nine, it was Bendis and Nine, okay, Bendis is awful, but who would have created it, it's not worse. This book was garbage! Fuck the event, I have this story, and F in my video, I wrote this, well, Tom Gang, I'll bring Tom Gang, F in Daniel and I got it! Then you will have any of that we would have done this story was sabotaged and destroyed and, and, and ruined everything! Fuck to the bed and fuck her to cry and let's not tell her ever, ever, ever again! Screw the story! The one thing that came out, this book on me, the all on glory, everything I did, book is garbage! Fuck to the bed! And screw this entire series, the entire story! It did nothing and it destroyed everything! Ugh! I mean, I ought to kill you about it. It was very book on my PC about destroying water with my flash. But crap! Like, why? Like, why kill what? Why destroy water with What the point of doing this to kill water with? Why? Like, ah! Fuck this event. Ugh. Anyway, then. What the hell, though? I wish the game that came out with time, time was pretty good, but that, that's not really saying much. Point, I did the book God of Boy, I just don't read it, just skip it. Anyway, then. Now. So, those are my top 10 worst comics of 2019. 2019 in my opinion has been a very mixed bag of comics. Some good, a lot of bad as it is here. And what's this old 2020 gets better for DC? But DC need to fix themselves as a model. Well, model that on the right track and not their income and stuff. The income is not their point of income with garbage. But despite that little stupid story, Marvel has been good at X Men. But other than that, DC really need to fix themselves on their bullshit because DC had a really bad year this year. And frankly, I want not to end off Superman and all that crap, but what's this whole 2020 bad for comics? At least for the big two. As for indie stuff, indie stuff is so good always, so I'm gonna use indie stuff that you don't want to do with, with all that crap, but point is, what's this whole 2020 is a bad year for comics? I mean, those are my top 10 Wisconsin 2019 on Pre Economy Mode Tree. Well, you guys think about my list. And one of you guys top 10 Wisconsin 2019. Pre Dog Economy Mode. Also, I got my big bait on Twitter. Free of Scarlet Channel. Follow on Twitter. Sorry. Free of the Bow Account. You know, I'll watch your own story. Free of the Beach Can. I'll talk about it longer. Good story. Woo. See ya. Bye. Tom can come in. Wish you luck out there on your other projects. And I don't blame you guys for having a credit. I blame more than you and his crap and all the high ups. You guys are good people. And. I hope we have to, uh, to uh, get more work, and I wish you guys work in the future. And, and, and I'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye. Oh, I'm good story. See ya. Bye.